Hey you guys, I hope everyone is doing well. The topic of weight loss surgery keeps coming up in my life offline and online. So I just wanted to do a video so that we can talk about it. Now what triggered this video? I had a doctor's appointment um, a couple of weeks ago and when I walked in, they had plastered everywhere like orientations for weight loss surgery, weight loss surgery, this weight loss surgery, that. And I asked one of the doctors, I was like, I'm like, do y'all not promote like healthy eating and exercise anymore? Because you know, years ago when you walk in the doctor's office, people like you would see posters of people eating fruit and vegetables. Um, you would see like posters of people exercising, walking, riding bikes and things like that. And that's not the atmosphere in um, doctor's offices anymore. So I asked one of the doctors, do y'all not promote healthy eating and exercise anymore? And she stated, yes, they do. But she pretty much said to me that most of her patients don't really try. So weight loss surgery is the solution to save their life. Okay, so after that, I had another doctor's appointment for, for a specialist. And in that doctor's office, it was kind of the same vibe. A lot of, you know, information about weight loss surgery. Also, I am in a lot of Facebook groups. Everything from recipes to bariatric groups to specialty diets. And I see a lot. And one thing I see a lot in the bariatric groups is people posting like, um, I only need to lose 35 pounds or I only need to lose 50 pounds. Um, do you think I can get approved for the surgery? And most of the comments, people are saying, yeah, you know, they got approved when they only had so, you know, so many pounds to lose now I understand that everybody body is different I am aware that there are several medical conditions out there that prevent people from losing weight and we're not going to dive into those I just want to kind of talk about um, weight loss in general looking back at myself when I was morbidly obese I think it really came down to me understanding food understanding how to eat food the types of foods to eat without packing on the pounds that's why I I focus on food so much because food took my life from me now it's giving it back so as you guys know I don't drink my carbs sometimes I have some cranberry juice sometimes I have some tea but 90 plus percent of the time I'm drinking water now looking back at my what I ate today videos not the last one but the one before that i put it in the video i had rice as well as bread in that video do y'all know that there's more carbs in a personal coca-cola than there was in that whole entire video i do videos like that to just show y'all how much food you can eat and how you can enjoy food without starving yourself so one of the most common private messages i get on facebook is y'all meal plan like y'all tell me y'all are starving when all you eat is baked chicken and broccoli like i had someone tell me the other day she's been eating baked chicken and broccoli for a week and she has not lost a pound so i went on and asked him the questions you know um have you have you been snacking you know sometimes we snack and don't even realize how much we're eating you know have you been snacking how much water you drink what have you been drinking have you been drinking anything else things like that and she had two cokes and a glass of tea you know sometimes we don't realize or sometimes we just we just don't think about you know we're drinking and we don't really think about the calories and the carb intake um what she had was baked chicken and veggies but she also had two sodas and tea um that is probably the equivalent of three days of full meals for me so i really do think that learning food is the key to any type of weight loss learning how calories and carbs affect your body i really do think is key and that's just when exercise flow in as y'all know i i don't i don't enjoy exercise and i work out about four to five days a week one to two hours a day and i don't enjoy it but i'm seeing the progress 
And when you see the progress that you're making, it just flows. It's like, of course I'm gonna exercise. You know, I got my food down packed. My this weight is slowly coming off. So of course, being exercising is the next best thing. I was looking at some weight loss surgeries data the other day, and of course, there are several different types of weight loss surgeries, and most of them have declined as far as people getting them. But the sleeve has not. It has jumped from like 17% to over 50% since 2011. Um, they have gotten amazing with these different surgeries. Most of them are not invasive at all, but they are still major surgeries. Okay, y'all, don't cut my head off when I say this, but I truly think that having surgery is, is much difficult than losing weight on your own like I've yeah the weight comes off quicker but I've never been hospitalized for overeating I just be miserable and go lay down <laughs> I've never been on a liquid diet I have total control of what I put in my mouth so I've been able to learn my body learn how calories and carbs affect my body just learn food all over again and enjoy food and it's a good chance that I won't gain that weight back. So in that sense, yes, I think that it's much harder, but of course losing weight naturally, we have to deal with, you know, everything. Um, with the overeating, with the controlling, you know, our appetite and things like that. So I think that no matter how you try to lose weight, it's going to be difficult. You just have to um, choose the right method for you. What do y'all think about how popular weight loss surgery has become? And weight loss surgery versus doing it naturally, which one do y'all I think it's more difficult to go through let me know let's talk about it in the comment section i love you guys so very much and i'll see y'all soon